Hello guys, what's going on? Bibis10 and welcome to my brand new squad builder featuring team of the season Thiago Mota. So let's get started as we put in Sirigu as our goalkeeper in this squad. A very nice solid keeper who will let um who will make amazing saves in the squad and barely let any balls in. But for our fullbacks, we have decided to go with Constant and Rafael. Rafael not defending the Brazilian side for this World Cup, but still a very good player in this game. And Constant, if not the best left back in Syria, because there aren't that many options, was a very strong player defender in this squad as well. But for our center backs, we have decided to go for two strong links. And we have decided to go with Thiago Silva and Marquinhos. Two very defensive and good center backs. Um, no comments needed to be said for Thiago Silva as he is the one of the highest rated center backs in the game. And Marquinhos there, very underrated non-rare gold, but very good um, player as well in the game. As he gets a strong link with Thiago Mota playing center defensive mid, his team of the season 85 rated card. Very underlooked because of his pace, 55 pace, 80 shooting, and uh, very good defending on him as well to hold off the midfield. For our center mids, we have gone with Marquisio and Fernandinho, two players that are great playing in the center mid spot. Fernandinho scored two goals in our seven matches, um, and Marquisio scored one, but he did have three assists, which is pretty good. And also, he played a very big role in the games that I played. He was up and down the pitch all the time. And uh, for our wingers, we have decided to go for to wrap and Jesus Navas. Jesus Navas, amazing pace on him, 86 dribbling and 71 shot, pretty good left foot, I've scored um, some pretty good left foot shots on him, and to wrap, also a uh, pretty good shot on him, as you see in the videos, 5 star skills, it was really fun playing with him, and his dribbling was also pretty good, but for our target man in this squad, it will be Balotelli, a very complete player with 84 pace, scored 6 goals out of the 7 matches, but... Um, one of the one of the matches I didn't even get to play and it got disconnected But let's get started with the video of the squad and see how it played So yeah guys uh, starting off with the defense uh, I believe that the defense was very strong constant and Rafael playing as fullbacks were very good Rafael really impressed me. Um, I thought he wasn't gonna be as good as constant because I've used constant before and he was really solid for me for being two both non rare players They were really good and I would rate him a very high um, I'll give him a very high rating because they did help a lot and they did go up and, and come back for a majority of plays but um, the two center backs I I just love them because Thiago Silva is such a great defender in this game a very solid defender and that's why everyone has him because he is not that expensive in this game anymore and uh, he's probably the best defender in the game Partners, partnering him with Marquinhos who has a lot of pace and is also another good solid non-rare player but moving on to the midfield um Thiago Mota probably the best player in the squad even though he did not get the most assists or goals I just felt like he was so solid and he was the one who held up the midfield and just came back to header or take the ball out whenever they were approaching the goal but yeah I thought he was a great player and definitely worth the coins Marquisio and Fernandinho were also two great influences in the squad Fernandinho attacked a lot and he was a great player. Uh, he had great finishing and his pace was very good as well. But Marquisio was uh, just everywhere on the pitch. Um, I honestly saw him in every single play. He had to touch the ball and just do something very useful and something very good. Um, I really like them both and I suggest both of them in the squad as well. But moving on to the attack was my favorite part of this squad because Jesus Navas and Balotelli was a really good partnership. Terrapt on the left wing was really good as well but he was kind of weak. And uh, I could not perform uh, as much skill as I wish to perform with him because of his pace, but it's still a very good player. And um, if you're really good at skilling, I, I must say I'm not the best, but I'm alright. And uh, I found him very good, but not as much as I could have if he had a little bit more pace. Um, but Hazel Nava is just providing Balotelli and also doing his great runs. But let's not forget Balotelli, the top scorer in the squad and also the best finisher. He just honestly finished everything that he had the opportunity for and uh, I definitely recommend so, it. So yeah, if you guys are wondering, I will be giving the squad a 9.0 rating. Just because I really like the squad and everything went out really well. Out of the 7 matches I played, I only lost 2 games. But yeah, I really enjoyed the squad and I really recommend it for you guys because it's uh, fairly cheap. But this will be the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. Um, if you guys didn't know, this will be one of the types of squad builders I will be doing. The other type will be uh, me commentating over the videos. Um, I hope you guys will enjoy that. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to stay tuned. Go watch my messy Road to the World Cup series and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.